Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm your host, Galvin. So, we continue our little mining expedition uh, over to here. Unfortunately, there are traders here. Uh, you know? While you're here, trade. Okay, you've got some herbal medicine. Uh, is there anything... Uh, I can buy some steel. A buck forty nine a pop. Uh, I'm willing for that. Yeah. All right. And those are some expensive components, yo. But we need both. I don't know if we necessarily need the components, but we will need the components. So, we'll just, uh, we'll just grab them for now. We've struck a compacted machinery. Good. Yeah, yeah, and now we have a bunch of visitors. Okay. Good, so now we have steel. For our other projects. On the plus side, the base is getting clean. Oh damn, we did strike compacted machinery back here. Which just kind of slows us down even more. Jeez. Alright. Sooner or later I'm hoping to strike steel if we get close over here. That'd be real lucky of us. And make a massive steel vein, but... Doubtful. Yeah, ev everyone, uh... Everyone go to sleep. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to use this as a fucking uh, base entrance or something. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but... We will make it work. Right. Oh fuck, alpha beavers. Okay. They are literally about as far away from as possible too. That's one of the problems with a map like this. Is a lot of um a lot of should should yeah, let hey, you're walking through our base. <laughs> A lot of uh, events will happen really far away, which makes actually going out to deal with them really hard. <laughs> like, I don't think there's actually too much I can do about it. Until they get a little closer. It's gonna... The, the alpha beavers just eat trees, so it's not the end of the world, but... Get rid of those trees. Get rid of those bushes. Clear up some more space. Alright. Hmm. The thing is here, I've got to be careful to keep the steel wall, steel uh, wall here intact, um, because I literally can't defend this opening. Because I can't put anything on this ground. Which does not work well. Alright. Okay. And, hey guys. I need to extend the mining up here. Good. That'll actually start bringing in a decent hull of steel. Alright. And with that steel, we can actually start building a defensive setup. So. Hmm. I'm still just trying to debate how we can uh, handle this. Alright. Right now, what I'm thinking is... Love food. Noted. Get up there for a while and then attack. Damn, that's a lot of tribes people and we still don't have any guns. So they're going to be coming through this way. Alright, that, that decides which way we defend first. Or try to set up anyway to defend. I might just be getting uh, the turrets up too late. I've been trying to delay that as much as possible. And use the resources for other things. We had a bit of a slow development at the start, so... Yeah, 
One, two, three, four. Mm, to be safe, I'll put it there. You have to space out your turrets a certain amount or else they all die when one explodes. I think that's safe. No, that is totally not safe. That should be safer. There we go. And we'll need some power lines. Uh, that also follow the same rule. Because otherwise the power lines also blow up. Which kind of cuts off power to the other turrets. Which you don't want to do. Alright. And then a power switch. And then a line running up to the main circuit. Good. Alright everyone. Done to work. Try and get some of this put together now. Yeah, they're being their assault. That's kind of what I was worried about. Uh, Alright, well, we only have two people who have guns right now, which is really bad. Uh, I think I put Astros on with a bow, which will help. Yeah, totally put Astros out with a bow. Um, let's cackle the other one with the gun. Yeah. Well, you're already at the location, so... I'll let you keep working. Since it's not super over yet. Here they come. Alright. Nagash, get up forward position. Out of curiosity, what is this bow's range like? Um... Shooting accuracy is good, sure. Um, I'm more or less looking for uh, attack range, though. Does that actually show, or...? Yeah, it does not seem to. So I'm not sure uh, what the range on bows are. Alright. Just low speed. Still just tribesmen, so. No, nope. I was hoping to get one more shot off before we got into that combat. Alright. Astros took a hit. Uh, you. Open fire. Got him. We are, uh, we are winning. Uh, you need to fall back as well. This person's slowed like hell. Good, they're fleeing. Oof. Alright, uh, you took on a, yeah, a pillar. That's not, can you live without a stomach? No. <laughs> I was like, no, wait a mo. Oh god, do we have to? Yeah, we have to steal an organ. Okay. Um, I wasn't anticipating to steal organs quite so quickly, but fuck it, we're not letting Astros die. Um. Oh, there's a marriage spot and a party spot. That's where they were. Uh, for future reference, all parties will be held here. Because fuck you. Um... Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I, I honestly was not anticipating that. Alright, we're, we're gonna just do some, uh... Some organ stealing, boys. Uh, yeah, you can undraft and, uh... Yeah, go rest. That would be a good idea. Yeah, because you kind of don't have a stomach right now. 
So, uh, yeah. Go spend another night with your husband, because 50-50, uh, you might just die. Alright. Add Bill, um... I can't harvest his stomach. Well, that sucks. That sucks, uh, sucks, yeah. yeah. Here goes our animal trainer and our researcher. Never got to research. I mean, I'm sorry, Astos. Uh, but there, there is nothing I can do, apparently, since, uh... Apparently, I can't steal, uh... Steal a... Uh... Yeah. Apparently can't steal a stomach. Can I steal one off a colonist? No? Okay. Yeah, I've, uh... I've got nothing, then. Unless... Yeah. Uh, apparently you can't friggin' steal a stomach, so... Astos will starve to death. I mean, I don't actually think you... I feel like you could actually survive without a stomach. Like, as long as the rest of your digestive tract is somewhat intact. There's no reason, real reason to heal her. Oh well. Uh. It's probably about time for us to dig a grave. Or just, uh. Yeah. It's just easier that way. Combat in this game is deadly. It's, there's so many things that can just go wrong. And, uh, yeah, that, that is one of them. That, strangely enough, does not go as wrong that often as you might think. But it totally can happen. And here will be a fine locale for a grave. Well. You probably might want to dig your wife's grave. On top of that, you're just feeling terrible today. Are you? Well... Thank God there's uh, no negative opinion for cruel, cruel irony of what I'm making him do. Yep. Yep. This, uh, this kind of blows, I'll admit it. This, uh, this kind of blows. There, there. Has died because of euthanasia. His mental break because of Astosman's death. Uh-huh. You, uh... Yeah. My... F wow. Colonist put to death. Really? Like... Apparently everyone's just kind of pissy about that. I, uh, I say that was very much the right thing to do. Uh, yeah. There, there I am. She would never eat again. And malnutrition sucks, so... That mood is dropping fast. Uh, thankfully, he's an optimist. <laughs> oh, good. Optimism is necessary in times like these. Um, yeah.
And we're still seeing the work of uh, Astrosman Lake. The great bow cuts. Yeah. I'm impressed we actually got some uh, regular bandages. Nagash is becoming a good doctor, I guess. Yeah, up to 15. Jeez. I would be worried about her skill degrading and stuff, because it does degrade down to 10 if you don't use it. Um, that said, seems to be enough fucking wounds around here to keep her up. Oh, dear. But, yeah, apparently everyone got a mood, negative mood outlet for euthanizing somebody who would never be able to eat again. <laughs> I seriously feel like you could survive without a stomach. Like, it would suck and you'd have to eat very regularly. Um, with, but you could totally, like, it, just attach the intestine to the, uh, sarcophagus. And it would totally be fine. Then again, I actually have no idea and I'm talking about out my ass about that. But, you know. Alright. Well. That kind of blows, but... That's uh, the way the game is sometimes. You don't play uh, RimWorld without losing people. I mean, she took one fucking... One fucking arrow to the stomach. That's it. <sighs> yeah. Let's uh let's return to fast speed. Oh good. So how are you guys as prison? I mean Hey, Nagash, I hate to disturb your sleep. I mean, she'll be fine. Now she just got some fucking bruises, and she's in extreme pain. Yeah. There we go. Let's patch him up. Now nutrition trivial ah, that's fine. That's been solved. Poor mood. Yeah, well. Uh, that was a prisoner breaking, so not a problem. Alright, there. So by having a switch here I can uh, designate to flick and it will either allow or prevent power from coming through. There. Since guns are giant power whores. It's kind of helpful. Yeah, you've got some damage. You took a lot of bullets on, actually. Yeah, those are rather impressive. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, if you're just gonna stay back around there, that's actually not that big a problem. Oh, hauling berries. Good dog. I'm glad he recovered. Alright. You're fully healed. You're just about fully healed. So, you have a difficulty to recruit of 99, so you're actually just going to get a release. You have 70, so chat and recruit. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mining granite. Hmm, alright. So, I kinda ask, because aren't you the, uh... No, you're not social at all. Oh, is our... Yeah, our warden... I don't know. It's Eliphaz who's our warden. Okay. Yeah. 
Release her. Don't want her around. There we go. Poor mood. Kind of sorta. Yeah, your mood is shit. I mean, I'm not surprised. You're probably gonna go berserk a few times. Like, actually keeping you happy is going to be ridiculously hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the reason I uh, just straight up killed it is like, I just wanna get it over with as fast as possible. <laughs> like, let's get this man some wood floors in his fucking bedroom. Right? Yeah, the relations with Canberra Brio have improved by 15. That's good. Let's have a look at the faction screen here. They're still hostile to us. Um, 